Hi, this is Bill Cornick. This is Advanced Trap Drill number three. So, this two hand pass is universal in almost every style. Whether you see them like this, whether you see this, whether you see this, it doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. The object is to go one hand to the next hand so that you can free this hand. So, as I come in, I have one, and this should be, here's where people fail in this one. They go one, and then they go two, and then they go three. It's not that. You can imagine these almost come simultaneously, because as this hits, this has got to be there to take advantage of the opening. If I hit him, let go, give him a chance to recover, and he comes back up, I'm back to the same position. So where I find people have trouble with this is they almost do this as two motions. Think of this as you're creeping them both out together. So I'm here and it goes like that. Now, it's hard to tell sometimes on the camera, but what I'm not doing is I'm not coming straight into him. Again, if I do this, great, he's here. Not a good idea for me. What I always try to do is I always try to find an angle to where I'm not facing this right directly. And also I can get to a position of weakness on him. Because anytime I get on that angle, I have a position of weakness. So how you practice this really simply is you start going one, two, just gently. And you go one, two, right? And it can go one, two, it can go this way, it can go this way. It doesn't matter. You want to get the idea that you're using both hands together. As you get better with this, you'll learn to go like this and then you'll pass things. Right? So eventually, as we're going one, two, it will lead into joint locks, it will lead into elbow locks, it will lead into traps, it will lead into strikes. Don't limit yourself to the thought of, I'm going to be a trap guy and we do these traps over and over again. No, you got to take advantage of what you have. You go like this and his hand's here and you couldn't get through here, so okay, go to the arm. You go like this and you're stuck, kick him. And now this opens up. You want to play with these so you have a wide variety. So how I like to do it is I'll go one, two, and then I'll try something from it. So I'll strike. And then maybe I'll go one, two, and I'll kick. Maybe I'll go one, two, and I'll go into a motion on the arm. Maybe I'll go one, two, come in, go like this. Or maybe I'll go one, two, and be looking for that other hand. The problem with trap drills and many drills that people do through martial arts is they do repetitive things. That's great if that guy comes at you with the exact motion you expect, which never happens. You have to try all the time for variety. You have to all the time move and shift and change things. And to do that, there are universal motions that work. And a lot of times what happens is, is the better I can get my two hands to come together, the quicker they come together, the more efficient it is. So when you're doing this motion, remember, it's not, you know, or like this. It's more like this. You want things very tight so that they're right away coming from motion to motion, which allows you to do something else very fast. This is Bill Cohen for Straight Circle Martial Arts. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you again next time.